Welcome to lab one, exercise one. We'll be configuring network load balancing. In this lab exercise, we'll be installing network load balancing, creating an NLB cluster, configuring DNS, configuring cluster properties, managing managing cluster nodes, and removing an NLB cluster. So for exercise 1.1, we'll be installing network load balancing. In this exercise, we'll be installing the network load balancing feature onto two of our Windows servers. And the mindset for this lab is that a company website must be fault tolerant, so I decided to use a network load balancing. What is the requirement to implement this network load balancing? And the completion time is about 25 minutes. So what we're doing is logging onto our server 01, which we're logged into as administrator. And inside of server 1, we'll right click the network status icon, which is down to the right, and open network sharing center. Okay. So when the network sharing center opens, click the second Ethernet connection. So in this case, it would be Ethernet 1, I'm pretty sure. Let's do properties. And let's do IPv4. And let's go ahead and configure the following settings. 192.168.1. Six one two five five two five five two five five. The default gateway left blank. DNS left from blank. Hit OK. OK. And then close it out afterwards. So now we're going to log into our server two as administrator and do this something similar to this. So let's just load it up real quick. Okay. Okay, so we're in our server 2, Ethernet. And let's go ahead and open up the private network. Which is our second Ethernet connection properties. And let's go to IPv4, use the following address, and let's type it in 192.168.1.71.255.255.255. And just leave everything else blank. Alright, so the next step we'll be doing is on server one, we're using this server manager console to add a role and feature so let's just save this and move over to there alright so manage add roles and features next next okay so let's see in here we'll be adding the network load balancing feature so let's go ahead and uh, add it real quick. So next network load balancing right here. Add feature next. Restart if required. Yes. Install. Alright, and when the installation complete, we just click the close button and using the same procedure that you use for server 1, install the network load balancing feature onto server 2. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So manage next.
Okay. And now we just wait for both of them to install. Okay. And as you can see, both of the installations for the network load balancing feature has been completed. And that will conclude our exercise 1.1. And now we'll move on to 1.2, creating an NLB cluster. So let's go ahead and begin with exercise 1.2, creating an NLB cluster. So in this exercise, we will create the NLB cluster using server 1 and 2. And the completion time is for about 15 minutes. So on server 1, we're using server manager. And we're in server 1 right now. And we're using tools, network load balancing. Then we'll right click network load balancing clusters, choose new cluster. Then let's go ahead and create our new cluster. So in the host text box, we'll be typing server 01. Then we type, click and connect. And then the interface hosts the virtual IP address and receives a client traffic to load balance. So let's go ahead and click next. And let's see, on the host parameters page, select a value in the priority unique host identifier drop down list. So Okay, and in this window, we're leaving this B, and we just want to verify the IP address is visible on this. So let's go ahead and click Next, and then let's see, we'll be adding a new IP address, and we'll be typing in 192.168.1.65, and then click Next. Okay, and be typing out web dot pentoso dot com and we clicking next on the port rules page, click edit to open the add or edit port rule dialog box. And I think we're just seeing what the, the the filtering mode is set to. So in this case, it's set to multiple hosts. And then click OK, and then finish. Okay, and the next thing we'll be doing is adding the second node. <laughs> So on server one, we're using the network load balancing manager and right clicking web.contoso and choosing add host to cluster. Okay, and then we're typing server two, then click and connect. The interface is already displayed. Click the second inter Ethernet interface. And then click next when that one's selected already. So click next on the add host to cluster host parameter page. Click next on the add host to cluster port rules page. Click finished. Okay, and then we'll watch watch the network load balancing manager until both nodes are converged. And we might have to press F5 to refresh it. And after the is converged, that would be the end of this exercise, and we're moving on to 1.3 configuring DNS. And there it is. For exercise 1.3 configuring DNS, we will configure DNS resource records. So the mindset is that there are two things missing. First, we need to install IIS and deploy the websites on server 1 and 2 and when ready to go live where the last steps needed so that users can reach the website completion time for this exercise is about 10 minutes so we log into our domain controller as administrator and let's go ahead and start on that
Okay, now let's go to our server manager and click tools, DNS, and the console opens. We'll be expanding our WDC, then expand four lookup zones. Then we click on contoso.com and we're choosing new host. And for the name, we're using web. P address, we're using 9192.168.165. Then we'll have to click to select create associate pointer PTR record, add host. And then we hit done. We'll right click on Torso and click new alias. And the we'll type alias name is www for the fully qualified domain name we're typing web.contoso.com hit ok and that will be exercise 1.3 for exercise 1.4 we'll be configuring cluster properties in this exercise we will redefine port rules for only the ports that I need the mindset is as mentioned earlier the clusters is meant to support a website what ports will you need to support the websites? Which time for this is 10 minutes. On server 1, we'll be using Network Flow Balancing Manager. We'll be right clicking webcontoso.com. Let's go ahead and open it up. Webcontoso. And then we'll be doing cluster properties. Okay, and when the dialog opens, we go into port rules. And from here, we'll be removing the current selection and adding a new one. And inside of the add edit port rule dialog, we go into protocols, selecting TCP. We'll change the port range to the following. So from 80 to 80. And then we'll be clicking OK. And then we'll be adding another one. Do 443. And select TCP. And hit OK. And then we'll watch the network load balancing manager until both nodes are converged. After, okay. Status pending. All right, and they're both converged. Let's go ahead and begin with exercise 1.5, managing cluster nodes. In this exercise, we'll be managing the cluster nodes, and the mindset is when we needing to do maintenance on each of the nodes so we need to stop one of the nodes and then bring it back online so let's go ahead and begin with that we'll have to open up the network load balancing manager and right click server 01 and choose control host drain stop okay next thing we're doing is clicking web.contoso.com right click server 01 and control host dot start then we right click it again stop and control host ready to start alright and we'll just watch until both nerds are enabled. <laughs> okay, and both of them are converged. For exercise 1.6, we'll be removing an NLB cluster. So in this first part, we'll delete the cluster. In the second part, we'll remove NLB. 
so we'll not interfere with future lessons. So on server one, we'll be using Networks Load Balancing Manager. Right-clicking webcontoso.com and choose Delete Cluster. And we're selecting Yes. Then we'll be closing Network Load Balancing Manager. Okay, close it out. To manage, remove roles and features. Next. Next. Just going to network load balancing, unchecking it, remove features. Next. Remove. And we'll have to repeat the same process to the next server. So let's go over server two. Tools, network load balancing. Make sure it's, let's refresh it. It's gone. Manage. Remove. Next, next, next. Network load balancing. Remove. Next. Remove. And we'll just give it a few minutes and let them both reboot. And in conclusion, we covered how to install network load balancing. We created an LLB cluster, configured the DNS, the cluster properties, we managed the cluster nodes, and we removed an LLB, cl an LLB cluster.